Hello everyone and welcome back to All the Crazy Things in Kerbal Space Program 1.12, my stock science explorations, which will now lead me to try to build a lander for Tylo. That is where we're at. We've done a Jewel mission, but we haven't landed on any of the moons of Jewel, and I want some Jewel science. And the toughest one to get to is Tylo, so we'll just tackle that straight on and see what I can do. Uh, but let's take a look at what I've mocked up already. It's been a bit since I posted a video in this series and I'm doing this during a Twitch live stream so that I have time, but basically I've been occupied with all sorts of crazy things in Realism Overhaul because people seem to have a lot of demand for crazy things in Realism Overhaul, but stock offers the opportunity for much crazy things too. So here we have a prospective Tylo lander. And if we take a look, it's not got a huge amount of delta V. I might need some more. We've got a fair amount of thrust weight ratio, but still not as much as we could want for Tylo. And we're carrying the drill on one side and ISRU unit on the other side. You've seen me with this arrangement before. But what we don't have right now is power. Because around Tylo, or on Tylo, we can't really expect solar power. We need the fuel cells. And right now, the fuel cell that I have is just a small one. And I would need quite a lot of small ones. I don't, I haven't done the math on whether it's efficient to have a whole lot of small ones, but I think we should just try to unlock the larger fuel cells. And where I'm gonna put it is a good question, but let me see. Uh, we need to find somewhere to get some science and we need 550 science to unlock the big fuel cells and we have 332 but maybe something has accumulated in the meantime where i can just time warp at one of the one of the stations to get the rest let's see how well moon station doesn't have anything i don't think we need minna station or jewel station or the jewel ship i mean Okay, well this is, uh, well this made a really big sound, but that might be okay. But there's, there's like nothing in, we should do something with this moon station. It's got no comms, probably because it's on the opposite side from Kerbin. But yeah, that's a good reminder. I'm focusing so much on Jewel, we haven't really done much with the moon at all. Station 1 was the Minma station. And what an awkward station it is, but... All right, uh, we've only started accumulating science. Well, let me just time warp here. We probably emptied the jewel station recently as well. We might as well time warp since we're nowhere near a jewel transfer window, which we will need to get the Tylo lander over. Yeah, so over here. We need Kerbin like over here in relation to jewel, so. Okay, that should be enough. Alright, so after some minor time warping... Fuel cell ray. Right. Once I've built the Tylo lander, we'll figure out how to get Spaceship 2 looking right. It's interesting, I, I thought the little baguettes would be shiny. They look shiny in here, but they don't look shiny here. So that's a little bit sad. But anyway, let's see. Fuel cell arrays, they're really big. Okay, but actually, uh, two of these combined is only 36 and we need 45 to run the drill and the converter at the same time. So we need one of these little fuel cells somewhere. Got to put it right on its forehead. It's discreet. <laughs> okay, uh, that's part. Uh, we've got the other instruments in the back, but I don't think they... Oh, we've got two of them. Well, two of them is fine. But you know what? We could have like a light. The fuel cell is 0.05. How much are the lights? They're smaller. But it's only 1.5 per second. Oh, that's a lot smaller than I thought. Oh, sorry, not 45. It's 40.5 that we need. So we actually need three of these fuel cells. We need one more somewhere. Uh, maybe we can just put them on the sides then. 
So two big ones and four small ones. That's a lot. This is just the lander for science. Uh, we're not expecting it to have bonus fuel to refuel our ship. We should have something like that though. Send up a send a refueler, but we wouldn't do refueling on Tylo. We'll refuel elsewhere. Oh, two of those tanks just added less than a hundred meters per second. What I think I really need to do is we probably should test this without crew first. <laughs> uh, maybe that's prudent. Also, this doesn't have nearly enough power. Power stored power, even though the fuel cells should do a lot. Octo 2 doesn't have a reaction wheel, but then the pod does, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, that has. Octo 2 is fine for that, then. Uh, maybe a nice flat battery would be good. We're going with a big docking port because I expect the lander would like that, but... I'm oh, not the lander, the spacecraft. Okay, radiators. Well, alright. That's 1.3 on Kerbin. What's it on Tylo? 1.6 thrust weight ratio. So, in that respect, not horrible. Alright, well. Let's see now. Let me route to this and subassembly the lander. First subassembly. Amazing. All right. And let's take a look at spaceship 2. So, the lander is going to go like that. So, it's very convenient that it's shaped like this. But I feel like for launch, we should still have a fairing here. The lander is properly protected. But how do I really want all this to look? First of all, we should have the pods that are bigger instead of just the onion, I think. Okay, then on the top one, we can create the connector. Uh, we should have some sort of adapter there. It's not efficient, but it's better. There, we'll imagine that that's actually properly connected and then people can go through all that. What could they be possibly looking at there that won't be blocked by the eventual tower, though? I, I want a taller island structure like that, with that thing on top. But I'm just trying to figure out how they get, because we've got a continuous sort of connected living space in principle like this. But I don't want to block that window. But I have no idea what that window is actually for. So... <laughs> hmm. What, what, what is it looking at? I don't know. Maybe, maybe this should be further back. And we have a lot more going along here, and then they could look backwards. And this is actually in the back. I think that's probably a better idea. Well, I guess since we've done a connected living space, I'm going to actually have to send more of these up to the top thing. I feel like there needs to be something here. I didn't want to use the adapter because the adapter isn't a crude part per se. their fuel parts, but I'm being very picky here. I think we can do with an illuminator or two, though. That'll fit right there. Delta V-wise, we're not off to a great start here. I mean, that could be enough, but I think we probably want more than that. Where's the center of mass? It's a little bit up because of all that stuff. To be honest, uh, what I'd like is sort of like a crisscross truss along there. Like one of these, but hollow. But I don't want to do all that. Now, um, 
more signs. This way, somebody can pop out and <laughs> take a look at it. Even though it's completely useless in space, just having the scanning arm on might be- Oh, I don't need two of those. Might be fun. Oh, well, see that- that- that is- that is too much swing. No, I don't need that. We should just put a robotic arm if we want something. Okay, now, let's see. Do we have a total resource? Oh, I guess that's just- that's not something in stock. That's probably Kerbal Engineer, where it shows all the- the sum of all the liquid fuel and oxidizer. I want to make sure that our current refueling thing can- around Mimus can deal with this at one go. One refueler trip. Otherwise, we've done too much here. Well, it's two thousand, uh, twenty thousand, so that's fine. So this can refuel our ship entirely at one go. Only problem is docking the ship. I should have put a big docking port on that side. It's gonna be cumbersome to get these huge vessels together, especially since I don't have any quality of life tools. We need power, we need thermals. But this is a jewel ship. Really, uh, I wish we had that reactor part that was in KSP2, that'd be nice. Well, we'll have banks of solar panels. Even though it's jewel. Okay, alright. Let's say this is is there anything i'm missing here more more uh, electric charge capacity might be good we had problems with that before let's just have some big banks okay right let's figure out the launch stack Maybe we can go 3.75 meters. Let's say we want the boosters to be able to do all the things. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, so what this is telling me is the boosters only are going to give us 2,550. But we might as well let them do that and then light the rhino later. Because the rhino's efficiency is better in vacuum. Okay, but we need a window. Okay, does it have enough thrust weight ratio? That it has. We need to time warp to a jewel window. Or close to it. We need to refuel around Minmus potentially first before actually sending it to jewel. Okay. Okay, well, there's high p potential for wobbliness. We are going to... we need some more scientists. <laughs> oh, this is the sound in here. I don't even remember hearing the sound, because I had turned the music off before they even added the astronaut complex, I think. But... Okay, Magson Kerman, alright. Edford Kerman. Ennard Kerman as a pilot. Pauky Kerman. I'll take Pauky Kerman. Anrim Kerman. Kerberry. We definitely want a Kerberry. Kerberry Kerman is good. I don't even know how to pronounce that one, but we'll, we'll just keep it to this. Okay, we're gonna put Edford and Magson in right now, in the mobile processing lab. Ebury, Tamara. That's pretty straightforward. Which lander can is that one? I'm gonna assume it's this one at the bottom, but they could really do a lot by just 
highlighting it over here when I hover over it. That'd be great. Oh well, wait, they aren't developing this anymore. Um, Tamara. We have to say we can't have Tamara and Kerberry. They're both good names. Tamara and Franming can be in there. Okay. I will revert if things just fall to pieces immediately. Let's say us on. That thrall's not working. Thrall up. And here goes nothing. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. Okay, okay. I'll take orbit. <laughs> orbit would be good. Uh-oh. 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 something about it. I don't I don't think that these are powerful enough on the gimbal. The gimbal might not be powerful enough. Well, at least right there it wasn't. Okay. Um no. <laughs> Apparently we can only go along here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, uh. Everywhere but where I want to go. Okay, well now it's just spinning really fast so that I can't separate the boosters. Oh! Uh. Okay, we're gonna revert. We could use the pomegranates for escape pods, but let's just not. Um, let's see. I think it has to be that it's just the... Uh, where the heck is the center pressure? It says the center pressure is there. It's this stupid cockpit part, I bet you. The Mark II parts always have the, this weird aerodynamics, right? Okay, well, we're gonna have to counteract that line. It's the aerodynamics. I mean, first of all, we've got this thing sticking out. There, well, it hasn't moved at all. Um, <laughs> it's a bit of a problem. Okay, SAS on, thralls up, and go. Try really straight up for a bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not too quick. Okay, well, much better this time. Oh, just as I say that. Let me just thrall down here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, separation. Ooh, they, some of them have a spin to them. I don't need that. Don't know how that exploded, but okay. Well, might as well dump that fairing. Well, just in case. We are now in space, and space music is happening. I should have probably put more mod propellant containment on the ship. I think I might have put that a little bit too close to that. Uh oh, lopsided. Alright, good enough. Alright, we have to go over to Minmus. Technically we could probably go just straight out to Jewel.
not necessary necessary to go to Minmus, but we might as well use that Minmus field to top it off. Okay, we are off to Minmus. Nope, oh, oh, it went, it went just like really fast. <laughs> Okay. I get a sending note at periapsis. Alright. Well, that's what we would like to do. Alright, um, for aesthetic reasons, we need to have this rotate around. Looks like our reaction wheels are good this time. Alright. There it is. That's Spaceship 2 for us. Same motif as Spaceship One, but improved. Now with a lander. It's always a bit weird because in movies they always point in the direction of motion, but we don't have it holding the direction of motion there. Sort of side-slipping. Okay, go. Okay, we just need to get the refueler onto this instead. Let's get the solar panels back in, because they'll get in the way otherwise. If I don't need to straighten it out, I'm not gonna straighten it out. Straighten it out. Oh, we're a little bit tilted. Uh, oop. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, big things docking together. Okay, it's gonna be like that, isn't it? Just let you feel it out here. Oh, it gave up. <laughs> it still had some angle, but uh, it conceded. All right. So. Well, I'm wagering that that's enough for this lander to get back to the surface with. Let's find out. Ooh, it says 240 there. Oh wait, no. Seeing something completely different. Uh, make up your mind. 2300? It thinks it's 2300. Well, that's definitely enough for it to get back to the surface with. Ship is completely topped off. Well, for now, I'm not going to bring it down. If it's really got that much, I don't have to worry about it. Otherwise, I'd test that immediately to see if it's really got enough to go back down. But I don't think I need to. And we'll just focus on getting Spaceship 2 over to Jewel. Ah, uh, still an angle. Oh, come on. There we go. Magnetism. Okay. Back to Spaceship 2. So now this has 3,800 meters per second. And we need to go to Jewel. But it'd be better if... Mimis was in a particular place. Oh, we're really sort of past the jewel window. Well, it's still saying 2,400. I 
like not to take that much, but we are late. So... That might be the penalty. We'll need a mid-course correction as well. All right, we'll, we'll go with this. We'll probably have to send some more stuff though, except for this. We probably should have done that earlier. Wait, did we, did we blow up a solar panel and I didn't notice? It doesn't say anything. Why are we missing one solar panel? How did, how did that happen? Okay, well I totally missed that. Just went all Skylab on us or something. Okay, go. Well, the poodle plumes are messed up, but the... Uh, Rhino is just fine. Now well, we're drifting off there. We need a mid-course correction anyway. As long as we have an encounter with it, we can go ahead with that. I mean, we could just directly try to get Tylo interested. But it's not interested, really. Come on, there's gotta be a way- ah, there we go. Capture. Free capture is what I was looking for. Okay, so we've got Leif doing a free capture. Well, not free, we were spending 23 at a mid-course correction, but we needed to do that anyway. Otherwise, it's a free capture from Leif. A little bit tilted. Okay. We'll leave that be. So, this is on its way to Jewel. We have a mid-course correction that'll get us closer to Jewel, and let's see what's the best that there's a good look. All right, 